Well, hello, it's Bears back. I have a, a two-fold video today. Um, one, I had an overwhelming um, consensus. I, I don't know. Is that a way you say it? Consensus? I, I can't even say it. Con whatever. Everybody wanted me to keep the anti-bump in the sesame and I'd already not done it. I'd taken it out. So now I'm going to put it back and it's going to go in number three spot. Um, and number three spot, as you see, is a real shallow pen. Okay. Now, in that sense, I was asked to go further into depth of how anti-bump works by one of my subscribers. And number three spot is where this anti-bump pin is going. Now, this, this style of anti-bump... Um, is sometimes you'll see the if you look if uh, you get them sometimes you'll see when you have an anti bump the top is ogged out in a uh, not sharp anymore it's ogged out and a bigger pin sits down into that ogged out part well that really what that does is basically damages the plug to because they do it in each each chamber and now you got a lot of slop at the top for your uh, spools and serrated they the serrated don't catch well there because they've cut milled out the very top to fit a fatter pin just to sit just so far down now this however in the American style, let me focus, focus, I don't know, uh, right there, they milled the pin down, not the top of the lot. So when I put this in number three, okay, if, if I put this in number three, Oh, come on. I love when nothing works with me. It always wants to go the other way. If I put this in here, quit turning. Damn. It just sits on the top. So you got a lot of air space in between the key pin and this pin. And then on top of that, you have this heavy duty spring that if you do hit it up there, if you do bump it up there, that spring just keeps it locked down. It's going to hit that and just drop right back down. It's not going to push it forward. Okay, that's that type. Then you have the other type, uh, which is the Ilco ones that are in the kit that I did a thing on. And this is a heavy duty spring. Let me get this set up. It's a heavy duty spring and you got a pin inside it. There's your pin inside. And then you got this heavy duty spring. Let me get it out of there. Okay. Now, what those do, and I, I'm kind of assuming they do that do it on a short cylinder. I mean a short pin also. Now I can get this thing up. Um, this 
pin goes inside the spring uh, that way and then I've got a number I think two in here schlage number two in here and then this when it's in the lock fits down like that um, spring goes down into the cylinder uh, pull the spring off the pin is sticking out so when you and it's a heavy duty spring as well so when you bump it you're going to go against that heavy heavy spring and it's not going to let it run anywhere so that's basically the idea behind anti-bump is it's it's forcing those down where you can't hit it and get them up out of there and into the shear line and that's my thoughts on it anyway uh, if there's an expert out there that if I've got it wrong uh, I'd love to hear from you but as I understand it dead air space or force down now um, I can't see using these uh, either method on a longer key pin because then it just makes it easier to to knock it up into the shear line so I think it should always go on a really small pin like a low or a high cut on your key a uh, small pin in the uh, plug so that's that's what I got for you right now and then I will be back with some more goodies <laughs> I got a lot of videos to do guys so I'll be back and till then stay legal and have fun guys bye